You're watching Hoffman Family Gold in a Russian. We're recapping the season one episode, Todd's Hot Mess. Eek, I don't like the sound of that. So what happened? Todd's wash plant is still broken down, and we're told if they can't fix it, and fast, their season is over. Oh, and their fuel truck is also broken down, and we're told if they can't get the spare running, and fast, their season is over. Sensing a theme yet? Both are fixed with relatively little drama, and they start running pay. A 150-yard test of the ground finds 2.5 ounces. This prompts Todd's first anguished face rub of the season. And we're told if they can't find better pay, and fast, their season is over. Suddenly, and without warning, claim owner Jason arrives and isn't happy. He wants to open a new cut where tests show good gold. Todd and Andy argue against it because they believe the ground won't thaw in time. After a long, awkward argument, the claim owner wins, but isn't happy. The funniest thing about this entire scene, if you want to call it funny, is that they are standing in front of a whiteboard during this conversation. And on it, you can see what appears to be the show crew's production outline written out, including what the characters are going to talk about during repairs, and it also properly predicts the surprise visit from the claim owner with Todd. This is honestly a new low for a show full of new lows. Anyway, while Andy clears the new ground, Todd helps by standing around filming on his phone. Three days later, it's still not thawed. After a long, awkward conversation between Todd and Andy, they head to another area on a southern slope. The ground is full of old-timer tailings, which is an obvious sign of good gold. Because the first thing I look for in good ground is signs someone else already mined it. Todd's plan is to do a secret 200-yard test of this ground without the claim owner knowing. Meanwhile, heavy pay causes the wash plant's motor and belt to go out of alignment. Claim owner Jason arrives and isn't happy, but it's fixed. Well, until the belt breaks again for the same reason. Claim owner Jason is told and isn't happy, but it's fixed. And keep in mind, by the way, this very involved and very aware claim owner is supposedly entirely in the dark that Todd is actively and secretly mining ground in a completely different area than was told. Todd then reveals his secret plan and claim owner Jason isn't happy. He is somehow surprised. Did I mention he has been on the claim this entire time? This all makes sense. Anyway, Jason is told if he doesn't use Todd's strategy and fast, their season is over. So he relents, but isn't happy. After running 1,000 yards, they do a cleanup. The original crew jokes about worrying that gold may be slipped into people's pockets during the cleanup. Which is funny, considering how a certain Hoffman team member is frequently accused of doing this very thing. I'm not accusing anyone. I'm just saying it's funny. The cleanup produces 30.3 ounces. However, they needed 43 ounces a week to hit the 1,000 ounce goal. The team seems disappointed. No word on the mood of claim owner Jason. Tune in next time when Todd gives up on gold mining and switches to becoming an elevator operator, resulting in him being a failure on many different levels. I don't even know that that makes sense. Hey, this show's really bad. It's actually terrible in every way imaginable. So I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Uh, if you did enjoy it, go ahead and hit the like button, subscribe, watch the old episodes, leave a comment below, and I'll be back again, I don't know why, next week.